Good morning everyone and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. Asian stocks dipped as fresh doubts emerged on whether the Fed has finished tightening policy. US futures slipped after the S&P 500 and Nasdaq closed higher. Treasuries and the dollar rose. Now, 10-year bond yield is again back to the levels of 4.65. and the dollar index is around 105.5 gift nifty is down nearly 20 25 points and on monday we saw a gap up opening which is like actually uh, kept the market on the higher side and eventually we saw the market was crossing the crucial level of 19400 but at the same time we cannot forget that now the nifty is approaching to the crucial resistance zone which is between 19400 and 19550 it is filled with number of hurdles of averages as well as retracement ratios so 20 day simple moving average 50 day simple moving average as well as 50% retracement of the entire fall it's all falling between this particular resistance zone and that's the reason we need to be careful if there is any higher opening in fact it is advisable to take profit on long positions or reduce weak long positions between these levels in case if there is any correction in the market then yes certainly we should look for adding some long positions close to 19300 and 250 levels with a tight stop loss at 19150 So buying is advisable on dips and it is advisable to reduce positions if there is any higher opening or we are approaching to the levels of 19450 550 levels for the bank nifty i think it is uh, finishing its uh, the next level of move which is between 43850 and 44000 so in case if there is any further more momentum in the market then the possibility of bank nifty to perform better than nifty and it may finish uh, the uh, next unfinished targets of 44000 43850 uh, in case if there is any correction then close to 43400 it has multiple uh, supports and uh, below that only we can expect weakness so there also we are of the view that we need to be careful and uh, we need to be more and more stock specific apart from this uh, major indices if we go through with it companies then most of them have fallen to their important supports now they are rebounding from the lows mid cap it companies are participating whenever there is a uptick in the market Uh, but at the same time uh, there is uh, hardly any interest from traders to uh, trade into this particular uh, sector and maybe that's the reason uh, they are going up with thin volumes which is a concerning factor but as uh, china is going to announce its trade number or trade data today we may see some activity in metals company so broadly we are of the view that we need to focus on few metal companies uh, especially tata steel or um, Jindal Steel and Power, JSW Steel. These are the stocks on on which we can keep a close watch. And also, we like few metals and mining companies like NMDC as well as GMDC. Friends, that's all from my side for the day. With this, I am ending today's morning podcast. Thank you very much for listening me. Have a great day to all of you.